And King Charles's highly anticipated coronation is now just nine days away, but the official invitation list is causing uproar after the Daily Mail revealed that Sinn Féin's leader in Northern Ireland, Michelle O'Neill, who comes from a family with links to the IRA, will be attending the ceremony, while Lady Pamela Hicks, the late Queen's bridesmaid, whose father, Lord Mountbatten, was murdered by the IRA, has been cruelly snubbed, less than a year after the Queen's death. Sinn Féin's O'Neill has responded saying, we are living in a time of great change. I am an Irish Republican. I also recognise there are many people on our island for whom the coronation is a hugely important occasion. I'm committed to being a First Minister for all. What do you think? Is she right? Should Sinn Féin's Northern Ireland leader get a prize seat for the coronation over the late Queen's bridesmaid, whose father was murdered? by the IRA. Email me on this, dan at gbnews.uk, vote in our poll at gbnews. But to help you make up your mind, I'm joined by the journalist and broadcaster Nina Mishkov, former Tory minister Edwina Curry, and the leader of the UKIP party, Neil Hamilton. Neil, I'll start with you because you're furious about this, aren't you? I certainly am. I think it's absolutely grotesque that Lady Pamela has not been invited to the coronation. After all, the last coronation had 8,000 people. This one's going to have only two. The idea that there isn't room for an, one other single person in Westminster Abbey is absurd. And if uh, that were the case, that there wasn't room for one other, the idea that Michelle O'Neill should take Lady Pamela's place is utterly grotesque. You know, her family is drenched in the blood of innocent victims of IRA murder and mayhem throughout the 70s, 80s and 90s. Her father was interned because of his importance in the East Tyrone Brigade of the IRA. And yes, maybe now she is genuine in her desire for reconciliation in Northern Ireland, but she has never expressed the slightest regret for the murder of Lord Mountbatten or anybody else. And she's not the First Minister of Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland doesn't have a First Minister at the minute because uh, the, the DUP will not uh, go back into a power-sharing executive. So there's no reason why she, other than any other leader of a political party in Northern Ireland, should be invited to the coronation. Nina Mishkov, you disagree? Well, first of all, I, I agree with her, her sentiments, her intentions. Um, peace has been hard fought and hard won, and, and it's, not, it's only holding tenuously. And it's just, it, we've just celebrated 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement, so we know how difficult all of that is. The, the thing is, you know, she, you know, we all believe in democracy. And that she has been democratically elected. She is the, whatever, you know, of the fact that there isn't a government at Stormont is not her fault. It is the DUP who are holding out. She has been democrat. She and her party have been democratically elected. They are the majority party. And when and if no. the, when the, the Stormont no. uh, MP, Stormont Parliament is, is, is reconvened, she is the first minister designate. And the thing is, at some point, you have to grow up and move forward. The, 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 the troubles were terrible. I remember, I've, I've, Neil and I, we, you know, and Edwina, we're all this, of the same vintage. We all remember how dreadful all, all that was. And we, God knows we do not want to go back to that. So you have to move forward. And it only comes from talking. And it only okay. doesn't come from guns. Well, I want to bring Edwina Curry in on this. Edwina, look, obviously I want to know what you think about uh, uh, Michelle O'Neill. But can I start with Pamela Hicks, Lady Pamela Hicks, because this would have been her third coronation. I'm very surprised by this decision by King Charles. She was incredibly close to the late Queen. Uh, her father was Lord Mount Mountbatten, someone who was a guiding light for Charles. Shouldn't she be there at the very least? Uh, well, she's 94, God bless her. And the king, I've not entirely been a fan of the king most of his life. I think he's got it right on this. You know, they have big private parties, lunch parties and so on, where lots and lots of minor royals will gather. And I've no doubt she'd be there, whether she would actually enjoy being sat in a wheelchair in the abbey for three solid hours, you know, worried about where the loo is. Um, I'm not sure that's exactly a good idea. Where I think he's got it right is in inviting a large number of ordinary people, the BEM holders, many of whom are thrilled to bits, and they're actually going to be in the Abbey. I think it's going to, something like 450 have been invited. That's fantastic. Uh, and a lot of other young people. There is a degree of discrimination, shall we say, Dan, against older people, almost <laughs> as if the King and the Queen really don't want to acknowledge that they're well into their 70s. As for Michelle O'Neill, 
I don't know if you noticed that uh, she wants to have a cake and eat it. Uh, she was tweeting earlier today about how awful the new budget is for the North, as she calls it, uh, to which yes. I'm afraid I responded on Twitter that um, if she ever achieved her objective, a united Ireland, she wouldn't get any money from Westminster. Yeah, well, um, indeed. So, uh, and, and, and also, <laughs> she doesn't want to celebrate the coronation. She doesn't want the people of Northern Ireland to celebrate the coronation, Neil. My belief is that she stopped lots of official events. Absolutely. I mean, she is a Republican, first and foremost, uh, and an Irish Republican, secondarily. And the idea that she's at the coronation, I think, is an insult to the rest of us in the United Kingdom who do believe that the monarchy is a force for good and do believe in the union uh, of Northern Ireland with Great Britain. Uh, uh, of course, uh, she's entitled to her view. Uh, she doesn't want to be British. She wants to be Irish. But that's not the point. Mm. You know, this is... This, the coronation of the King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And Nina, and is the there idea a problem? That she should be favoured over Lady Pamela Hicks is to me, I think, yeah. a grotesque insult. Mm. And I don't think it's, it's up for us to decide whether Lady Pamela would, if she were invited, want to be in Westminster Abbey. That's no, and her, she would have attended. What, she, one, she would have attended. One is, uh, a pol one is a political invitation, obviously, and the other is a personal invitation. And I find it very odd that Charles has not invited her because Lord Mountbatten was, he was so close to he was he was Charles's what? mentor and so that I can only imagine there must be something personal that he that has made him not invite her and we a family thing we don't know that we have no idea but it but it's it, it seems very very odd to me well it seems like a cool decision uh, Dwayne Curry what about the fact that actually though uh, there, there's quite a lot of folk at this coronation who we would prefer not to have there I mean uh, China <laughs> is sending uh, the awful bloke who has cracked down on democracy and freedoms in Hong Kong, for example. Yeah. Uh, apparently right. there's I, going I, to be this I, I, awful I, I, guy I, I, called I, I, Prince Harry there too, that, that treacherous <laughs> son of the king. So it's not a brilliant guest list at the moment, Edwina. It's like any wedding, it's like any big celebration, it's who you have include. I mean, this is the, uh, the Aldi coronation, uh, whereas the Queens the, in 1953, which some of us were old enough to uh, witness, uh, that was the, the Waitrose one. Uh, this one is a much smaller one. The shelves are much more bare. And uh, when it's gone, it's gone. You know, the choices are much more narrow. Uh, I think the king has decided, oh, sod them, basically. We'll have a few of my friends who are the royals who aren't normally invited to coronations. We'll put out the heads of state invitations and see who comes. So uh, Mrs. Biden is coming. Uh, oh, goody. goody, 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 goody. OK, great stuff. Former Tory Minister Edwina Curry, journalist and broadcaster Nina Mishkov, leader of UKIP, Neil Hamilton. Really interested to know who you agree with on this one. Should Sinn Féin's Northern Ireland leader Michelle O'Neill get a prize seat for the coronation over the Queen's bridesmaid whose father was murdered by the IRA?